Shucks, howdy, everybody. It's that time of week again. It's 10 Paces. That's right. 10 Paces is the only show where you can get art and uh, us. And boy, what a hot commodity we are. We are. Uh, there's only three in existence. Get into this ground floor. Uh, ground Zero is what I've been called many times, so... <laughs> You know, I was gonna. Nope. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Ground zero, like we're. Uh, we're I I was gonna go, go to a real <laughs> real real nasty spot. Let's at least get five minutes oh, in before on. I. Okay. Come okay. on, Dakota. You're you're a nine out of eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was just gonna say it's just something about you know like trading ideologies between worlds, and it's just kind of at the center of all this. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, the, the views expressed in this episode do not respect the, do not press the views of 10 uh, cases. Yeah, just do not respect, actually. Just end it there. <laughs> we do not respect, we do not. Yeah. Not in our lexicon. <laughs> oh my god. I must, I think I was having withdrawals from the show, because I just got itchy all over. What? what? Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. you ever have yeah. one of those... Harsh. You ever have one of those weird things where, like, your body gets suddenly itchy and, like, cold? Oh. Ten paces. I, it, our show gives you withdrawals. Apparently. <laughs> sorry I've been away, everybody. I won't do it again. Ten paces. It's all the bad parts of heroin. As, uh, yeah, whoever's been microdosing me, uh, please, don't stop. <laughs> Well, Anybody right. got to pivot into our first topic? No, I hope you I've... enjoyed your little vacation. Uh, but is that what you would call? We don't need to go into what happened, but yeah, yeah. Well, for the people, I'm calling it a vacation. Yeah, let's just say Jimmy went to the farm. Yeah, Jimmy... and I changed my name to Jimmy. It it was quite a time. Yeah, I mean, no one has to know that you were offshores, illegally hiding assets. Listen, just because Creator Clash wasn't the most undercover of uh, venues to commit my acts at, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, and what a... What a fight. Yeah. Speaking what of fight, uh, of we're fighting with Aaron to segue into the first prompt. What's taking you so long? I mean... You guys can segue as well. You're doing a good job. We, I don't think we, we can. Uh, I I segued into you segueing. We're going for the combo. Yeah, but I don't think we need to battle it out. Right, Travis. He's and I, you to spike, and yeah, I guess uh, I'll lazily lob it over the net. Oh my god! Have, Speaking of fight, it's a fight episode. We're all about fighting today. We want to. We're gonna beat each other up with our drawings and our words. Yeah, and our. Uh, Egos. I don't. I don't think we have those here. Well, check your ego at the door because it's ten paces and we're about to fight. All right. Yeah. Let's just hard force it. Fuck it. Let's just do it today. I'm gonna have you guys draw some battle bots. Oh right! I legitimately forgot what the first one was, so I needed you. Like this wasn't me being. <laughs> this was all just you vamping until like one yes. of us brought up what the prompt actually was. Man, I should have just did came I... up with a random prompt. Did I not say out loud that I just? I I thought I no. had mentioned. I just did not know. I I think Travis went for the interrupt, and uh, <laughs> he got me unbeknownst to him. Well, that gets you negative one points. We're starting off right, strong. Well, Welcome back. Deleting my heart out of protest. This new semester's now not going off to a great start for Dakota. Look, there's always a status quo shakeup in season two. Oh, negative First... four. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you know, bad talk our season two. Oh, we're we're for attaboys. I, how is that? I was just talking about the structure, all right? What are you Undermining it. Yeah, um, I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, that's also a part of the second season. That is a part of the second season. That was part of the first season. 
it's a staple. It's like always sunny without the jokes. It just isn't the same. <laughs> without the laugh track. Yeah, we don't got jokes here. Yeah. We're just bad people. That's all there is to the show. Anyway, battle with our bits. Let's let's move on. Yeah, battle bits. All, all right. right. I'm all set up. I'm going to make a not... game where you battle your NFTs and the losers get destroyed. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> all right. I got 30 on the clock. You guys ready? Fuck no. Oh, well, always. Do you want like to get a grid work down or whatever, like Travis has? Do you like your. No, nah, he just came better prepared, so I'll let him have it. No, okay. Well, he I did. Rolled out this mat. He did remember what the first prompt was. Yeah, um, I got I got the second two, and I know you. I also know you can't call me out for him now because you want to keep it a surprise. Start the fucking clock. Okay, three, two, <laughs> one, go. All right, so, all right, um, you want good news or bad news first, Travis? Uh, bad news. Sock it to uh, me, as I'm wont to say. I have no plan. And the good news? I just love drawing fucking robots, so who cares? Yeah, same. Like, I don't know if I need a- I'm just gonna fucking just make a box. Put shit on it. It's a robot. Holy hell. But is it a battle bot? It will be. Dude, I actually loved battle bots when I was younger. You know, it's- it's Same. I found on YouTube, uh, there's people that do BattleBots now, but it's not BattleBots. Yeah, um... Isn't there official BattleBots still, though? Uh, maybe, yeah. I think, yeah, if I there has to be. Uh, I watch a streamer who him and his friends do, uh, a BattleBots Fantasy League, and they do drafts, and he livestreams the drafts because it's just funny. How do you draft? I don't fucking know, but they did it. Oh, it might. I don't know. It might. It might have been BattleBots that I was just watching. It seemed official. <laughs> Damn, they got some cool BattleBots. Holy fuck! Whatever happened to that intercontinental uh, mech fight thing? I don't know what you're talking about. There was a big fight where uh, I know. Japan and the U.S. each had a team of uh, robotics experts to build a mech to fight each other. I don't think I've heard of this, but I, I believe I, Japan would win. Yeah. I vaguely remember this being a thing, so you're not, like, misremembering shit? No, I remember very vividly watching it at your house, Aaron. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I vividly don't remember this occurrence. Trying to, what do I want this fucking thing to be? I'm gonna pause the stream. I don't want to see what Travis is doing. I like the surprise. Wow, who? Oh, what? Don't pause the stream. We're streaming to other people. Like, yeah, if we. Yeah, pause there's the more stream. than just you involved here, Dakota. Second season time travel arc. They're gonna have to figure <laughs> it out. It's. Since the stream's paused, I'll say it. It's just, it's hidden in the dates of the YouTube uploads. They'll figure that out eventually. Yeah, figure out our cipher. Yeah, figuring out the ARG for this season was a fucking bitch. No one did anything for last season. Well, it's the pilot. You don't need to. No, no, no. We had one going. Oh. You want figure it out? Shit, I didn't either. The OnlyFans? Oh, true. You know what? They might have just been too ashamed to admit it. Mm, they didn't want to say when they subbed. All right. Now I checked those comments. I mean, I don't think subbing's exactly a weird thing on OnlyFans, but you know. No, in fact, it's encouraged. Hear that everyone sub for us. We are little subs. Yeah, we'll be your. We'll be your mm -hmm. ten paces daddies. Oh uh, yeah. Also, hi, Nevins. Hi, Nevins. Thanks for joining us. I told him it was Monday. I, I hope that got through to him. Yeah, it's Monday. We're open. 
<laughs> Thank God it's not the weekend. <laughs> yeah, he he left a little while ago. <laughs> he really saw the date. What this isn't right. <laughs> He's like, I have to cease existing for five more days. Don't forget to rub my lamp. <laughs> can only be perceived on certain days of the week. <laughs> but it's also contingent on the person perceiving you knowing what day it is. <laughs> uh, thank you, Nevins. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, there's a... How did I not hear that? I'm your huckleberry. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Nevins. Keep that streak alive. I was gonna say there's just a really good uh, CPA who goes by the weekday. <laughs> do, do they have an enemy? <laughs> it's the same just... person, just depends on time. Any band who's named after a day of the week just gets relentlessly harassed by them. <laughs> Vampire Weekend, here's a steak. Oh my god, they have to deal with them, like, multiple days. <laughs> you thought taking back Sunday was bad. They're taking <laughs> it back from him? I don't think so. I don't know any other, uh... Any band names? With weekdays in them? There's, there's gotta be a Friday, right? There's probably every single day of the week and then some made-up ones. I know there's a Tuesday because they opened up for uh, My Chemical Romance when uh, Grace went and saw him. Ooh. Have they, have they ever tried just to line all these bands up on <laughs> on one show in order? It's just the fucking chant from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, but a show. Yeah. I'll pretend to be hip. You, I know you've seen it before. It's just probably been a while, old man. Uh, I actually didn't really get Nakutine until much later, and even then, wasn't ever like huge on it. Wow. All right. It's okay. it was just like uh, I, like I, I didn't do well with like gross out stuff as a kid. Mm. It's okay, man. It's okay. But you liked need... Zim. I did, but most of it was off screen. Most that's of it. True. Not like the organs. No, that's just that's just showing how healthy he is. Yeah, he's got plenty of organs as he slurps up his like spleen. Yeah. Though the the scene where his best friend gets his eyeballs ripped out and replaced in the shadows <laughs> uh, did upset me as a child. Understandable. And not even, like, the the gruesome factor of it. I'm just like, oh no, that was his friend. Oh. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it was. They were best friends. Yeah, clearly. Till the end. I decided I wanted to do a battle bot that's just one of those, like, impractical ones that occasionally decimates, but usually just has a very obvious weakness and gets fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota's playing with a handicap. You gotta, you know, gamble if you want to win it big sometimes. Hey, oh, fuck you. Gambling. It's, I, 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 it's I probably realize. still down. Oh, it's down? I thought you disabled it on no. the uh, heathens. We've never disabled it. It's just been shit. No, that's what was keeping this town running. Like, no. look at our numbers now. We don't have, <laughs> we don't have gambling active. And argue with that. That's not stopping anybody from making side bets in the chat. It's true. You guys can still dole out your points yourself. You don't need, you don't need an official. You I don't even need it. points. You can use actual money. It's true. Okay. Too. Never mind. Back in. Did you ever have uh, a battle bot you really liked as a kid? 
Oh, I know I did, but I cannot remember or picture which one. I'm actually kind of basing mine off of one. Uh -huh. Uh... What... I can never get the name right, though, especially not yeah. 20 years after the fact. Um, it was like Super Mouser Catotron or something. That it does sound big. A yeah. dome that looked like a robot cat. Or painted like a robot cat. Um, there was also one that was just like a... It was just like a very low sitting disc. Oh yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Roll around and just have like a big spring that would pop up, or pop the disc up, and it just flipped everything over. I, f I found the one you're talking about. Mauza Mecha Catbot. Nah, that's not right. That's not right? Oh fuck. No, it might be, it might be the same robot, but different name I know it was Super Mouser Bad Bot Hell no, you're right Fuck Hell yeah <laughs> Human Brain I could have sworn its again. name was was way different I would have to look up the whole cast of BattleBots. <laughs> yeah, they're all retired now. Unfortunately, they belong in a museum. Each and every one. Battling out in uh, BattleBot Valhalla. And by that I mean retirement. So I know I already uh, called my shot for the year, but uh -huh. I'm going to call my shot for next year. Um... <laughs> When are we going to have Android Gladiatorial Combat? God, I, 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 I'm excited for that. Probably right after normal Gladiatorial Combat comes back. Oh, yeah. It'll only come around whenever there aren't any humans to shed blood for each other. This just sounds like war. Yeah. 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 But, but we can bet on it. Dude, I think I remember Sir Lancelot, the battle bot. You guys are gonna make me stop and look him up. We're not gonna make you do anything. Yeah, you you do it to yourself. Let me like not take responsibility for my actions, please. Was it Sir Kill a lot? Is it was, me? It was like this massive fucking like like uh Mega Man boss looking thing looks like a mini I could, boss i could see how i no i know it wasn't one of the big ones i like i almost wonder if it was the one travis was talking about a second ago oh it's okay i'm just uh, it was like a pink cat yeah that's no, the, the one you... oh i'm on man oh sir kill a lot looks fun i i doubt he did well though because i don't think so usually it was like the the bots with the really simple designs mm -hmm. always did well and so I think the uh, the little pop-up disc was undefeated. Oh wow! Really? Just yeah. It just peppered people and like flipped them into obstacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if they were like unable to continue fighting, then they had to surrender. True. Yeah. Y'all remember Junkyard Wars? I love Junkyard Wars. That and Human Wrecking Balls. I don't remember Human Wrecking Balls. It was on G4 near the end, I think. Um, I remember it. These, like, two big-ass fucking boulder bodybuilders would just, like, rip apart a car by hand or, like, a an office building or something. Like, stupid shit, and it was just fun to watch. Unironically, like... Awesome. Taught you how to break shit. Yeah. Taught me that uh, a small point is how you want to break a window. Same. I was thinking of that exact thing. You want to yeah. keep talking about this so Travis feels left out? Yeah, sure. Uh, at one no, point, I'm interested. At one point they ran a chair through like a, 
a window, but they took off the spokes and everything, so it was just a little point. And they said that was a lot better to actually break a window, because once you, like... I'm going to say the w wrong words, but once you break, like, the surface tension, it just splinters out and explodes. That makes sense. Yeah. Kind of hard, but brittle. Yep. And so, like, a sharp point of entry is is the way to go. Yeah. It was actually a, a corner bot. Oh, Sir Killalot was, like, that's right. Sir Killalot was a, an obstacle that would unlock after a while. And then he would just fuck everyone up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember that now, because like, they would have like sirens and smoke go off. Like a fucking, Gotta keep the fight moving. Like a fucking pinball machine. <laughs> I mean, shit, they could have just thrown that in there as a boss. Yeah. I would have loved to see, like, a more gamified battle bots. I'm surprised no one's made Where a, did have an actual game of it. There was a browser game back when we were in, uh... Yeah. Maybe middle school, maybe high school? But it, it was like a Flash game where you could build a, a bot or a team of bots, but you had like a limited, uh... Budget. You know, resource pool. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Did you ever play this? This sounds yeah. familiar. There was also definitely a, a... There's a board game and a GBA game. Well, a board game or like a deck building game could be cool. I would love it, but I also just love all deck building games because I'm a fucking nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Killalot's spear weighed more than like 90% of the competitors. That's so Jesus. Funny. Yeah, he would just fuck people up. I always liked uh, the bots that have like saw blades on both sides, like both arms or whatever, and they would just try to like run into you and mulch you. Oh yeah. They would also send people flying. Mm hmm. Is it saw blades are always gonna catch, but yeah, they're pretty effective until that motor burns out. Yep. I saw one that uh had like a saw blade and it was like this weird like t-shape the uh whole bot was and the saw blade was on an arm in the middle that it would just fire from behind and just slam down on someone huh and then it would just rip them apart and the combination of the uh arm spin and then also the spinning blade would just destroy people <laughs> I think there was one that was just like a hydraulic spike that... Yeah, probably. I think there was another very simply designed one that was just like a hydraulic spike that would try and ram you and then just run a spike through your entire robot. I think you, be, you don't say. I think that'd be pretty effective. Who would, who would ever think of a hydraulic spike? Uh, probably some donkus. Some donkus that right. wants to lose... Yeah, I'm building this to win. I I had a theme, but I yeah. also... That theme is now winning. <laughs> you guys got about 12 minutes left. So, add any extra bits that you might want to add. What about extra bots? Yeah, sure. You could, you could have a bot <laughs> that then a re swarm. releases a bunch of tiny bots. How did no one have a swarm of microbots that were each controlled by another member of their team? <laughs> and their only move is to explode. Yeah, where's my Transformer <laughs> storyline? So they just swarm them and pop. Oh, you just make them little, like, discs. So they can go underneath and then they're just, like, movable mines. Ooh. Yeah, there was... There were less explosives in, uh... <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. In BattleBots than I would have liked to have seen. Hmm. I saw one fight that was literally, like, 20 seconds long, and the only reason it was 20 seconds long is because the, uh, the competitor, like, the one that was obviously gonna lose, 
was literally like a joke bot, and they just let the guy beat up on it. And they lived up to their name? Yeah. They got hit once, flipped around the area, caught on fire, and then the other guy just kept beating him up. <laughs> So when you say choke bot, do you mean like it was made to like kind of crush the other the other robot or designed to fail? Designed to fail. Oh, okay. Like it was good if it got one hit off. It's like, wow, that was a pretty good match. <laughs> This song's gotta... gotta go. Oops. My bad. It was just the giant robo fight. Did half by the way. I know it did. It was... it was pretty hype in, uh... in nerd news at the time when... I mean, this is back in the day when being a nerd could be your whole identity. Without it being insufferable. Right. Okay. And then it turns out, uh... Building an entire identity off of pop culture um, gets us to where we are now. Ten paces. Yeah. Well, I can't complain then. Why would you? I don't know. I like it. Here. I can. Well. The, yeah. I, I wonder why Travis and I might have a problem and Aaron wouldn't. It's such a mystery. <laughs> I just always reserve the right to complain because I'm a mm. deeply unhappy person. Oh, okay. Well, never oh. mind. We're just on the same page. I'm not going to take that away from you. <laughs> what would you have left? <laughs> Without sadness, who is Travis? You can't spell sadness without Travis. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our first shirt. Like most things, you can't build, don't build personality off of one thing, uh, or off of shallower concepts. Yeah. It kind of just makes you a person not many people would really want to be around. But I want to be the yo-yo guy. I want that to be who I am and what I'm known for. Well, you better get really good. Because <laughs> you're either the best yo-yo guy or you're nothing. I'm the best yo-yo guy at my middle school. <laughs> I'll keep it up, kid. Then I I fucking made worlds, and... What a wide world it is. I can never go back to competitive yo-yoing. <laughs> Not after the... You used the forbidden technique in the tournament of uh, 2003. Yeah, uh... I wasn't skilled enough to be using it, and it did strangle another contestant. Yeah, there's a reason they changed how yo-yos work. Now they don't bind <laughs> up at the end. So why yeah, you... but you just don't get that, that good flow off of it anymore. That's true. You can still get them on the black market. That's true. Buy one off a wish. <laughs> uh, well, the genie's back. Or Temu, or whatever the fuck. Any website they advertise to you on Facebook. Yeah. Which sucks, because there's one that, like... I don't know, it's targeted ads were targeted at me, and I'm like, ah, oh, this is cool. <laughs> yep, they work. I know this won't look anything like this in real life, but... Especially because they, uh... They used anime characters to sell their clothing. Oh, that's weird. And I'm like, yeah, I... I like this from a character design perspective. And if I could get clothes that actually looked like this, I would get them. But not from you. I don't trust you. Yeah, it sucks because I find stuff like that. I find clothes that I want or like cool looking things. And I'm like, this isn't going to be nearly as good as they make it out to be. If it even comes. I think I'm... I think I'm done. I'm ready to paddle. Well, you got a name? Oh. I can just... End um... 
You need a name. Uh, okay. Uh... There we go. All right. Dakota, did I throw a wrench in your your uh, plans when I said you needed a name? Uh, no, I was just going to say this. Uh, okay. Has a joke sponsor, and they call it Vlad the Impala. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's time to fight. Oh, then. Look at it, yeah. Mm-hmm. The ears. That's fun. Is actually how it started, and then I'm like, when I said I wanted to win, I gave it a gun. And then I realized, like, what's thematic? What's thematically similar between a gun and a rabbit? <laughs> a duck. Well done. Uh, yeah, it is duck season. It's hunting season. God, every time I think of fucking Elmer Thud, I'm constantly thrown back to Lee Weeks doing the Batman vs. Elmer Fudd and how he managed to make Elmer Fudd a badass. It's Are we talking about that comic book? Yeah, it's wild. I... Unironically, it's an amazing comic through and through, and I cannot get past that it's fucking Elmer Fudd ever. Is I... he is he drawn like like Elmer Fudd? Does he have like his proportions compared to Batman's like semi-human proportions? No, no, no. It's more uh, Elmer Fudd matches Batman's world. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, it... what do you, what do you think of our bots? Because uh, that gun can aim anywhere. Oh, it's fully articulating. Nice. Yeah, that's why it has the glove hand. Okay, okay. Uh, I love it, and I feel like, also, is, does it have a secret mallet weapon? Uh, yeah, the entire thing opens up, and it's a big mallet. Oh, jeez, and then it just uses its arm to hold itself up and hit you with itself. And if it ever gets cornered, it just, uh, falls into a hole in the ground and pops up on the other side. <laughs> it's Ooh. got portal powers. Man... And this is a uh, fucking champion bot right here. I mean, yeah, mine, mine just rams it, scoops it up, and then spikes it. That, that's it. That's that's one thing. Well, I do like the support you got going on the arm. That's gonna give you a valuable uh, structure. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, what if my robot dresses up like a girl robot and tries to seduce your robot? Yeah, what then? Uh, I mean, mine asexual robot i don't know why you would expect anything else here oh, because shit. uh doc rock the doctor is not the only thing this robot rocks if you know what i'm saying <laughs> this is a robot that likes to fuck i can just tell <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean robot lays pipe <laughs> uh mine prefers to spike it <laughs> That could be well, good, so all too. What I'm saying is, I've got the any, and I see the barrel on your uh, uh, gun, and that's the, uh... That's where it's going. Okay. Uh, but that's a gun's one weakness. <laughs> it's getting plugged <laughs> up by, like, a finger or something? <laughs> by a giant metal spike, of course. <laughs> I was just drawing to counter you. I was watching the whole time. <laughs> well... See, my plan was to use the spike to uh, hit the wind-up on the back of yours. I think I'll give you uh, each 600 points. That sound good? Uh, attaboy. Works for me. You can't actually see how this plays out until we throw him in the ring. Yeah. And that'll that'll come eventually. That'll have to be another day. Yeah. You know how fucking cool it would be if we actually got some battle bots? Of our you hear that out there? <laughs> Sub to us. We'll, uh... Once we get a Patreon going, we're gonna make a reward tier that's... We'll actually do BattleBots, I guess.
Where are... Hold on, I'm trying to look through the battle bots to see if I can find the one. Where's lobotomizer. The lobotomizer, yeah. The first wars. I'm sorry. Is when I went to history, when I went to the history, there's the first wars, the second war. Like, oh my <laughs> god, that's so fucking <laughs> funny. Oh yes, those were dark times. Crude bots using crude weapons. All right, we'll fuck with this another time. Get out of here. Bloody oil spilled times. Alright, um, so I remember the next one. My only question is, Aaron, are you providing one? Uh, I'm providing... That's the idea. The, the base, okay. and then you're providing the, the yeah. twist. The shape. The, the twist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Just making sure. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Yeah, I just, I gotta check sometimes. Oh yeah, I mean, between pre-pro and show, this show is, like, ever-evolving. <laughs> That's right. It's Just... like a virus! You cannot be stopped. Or, like a Pokemon. <gasps> well, I mean, uh, I've never seen a Pokemon go above two evolutions, but... Yeah, they, they actually kind of have a... Less. They seem to have a pretty hard limit. It's not Digimon. How many digi evolutions have there been? You know, we can talk about this after we start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today we're going to be drawing some Pokemon, but weaponized. Just like the good old American way. If there's something people the like. Combat. I got a barky dog. So, I'll be providing the Pokemon. Okay, I cast. Okay. Gun. Well, we'll see. I already did that. Yeah. Get your own move. You did. Listen, I got a little jealous. Anyway, Pokemon. Now. I'm busy. Oh, you do have Barky Dog. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Um, Travis, I'm gonna give you, uh... Is this a Pokemon? It doesn't sound like... Did you randomize it just now? You probably is. Uh, Roaring Moon. What? Oh, uh, can I get a reroll? No. Okay. And what? Then... <laughs> this is a Pokemon? Yep. It's one of the new... They're uh... called Paradox Pokemon, and it's stupid. Too bad. Huh. Um, Dakota, you get a uh, bear tick. Isn't that the ice bear? It is the ice bear. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. I got thirty on the clock. I'm gonna get going, and then I'll uh, I'll be right back. So three, two, one, talk shit, go. Why would we talk oh, shit? Oh boy! I'll talk yeah. to this Pokemon all fucking day. So first off, can you explain to me what the hell a uh, Paradox Pokemon is? So, in... I mean, spoilers for a Pokemon game that everybody hated that came out last year. Um, it's... They deal with time travel. So, in Scarlet, um, there's a bunch of prehistoric Pokemon that are coming through some kind of time rift. And then in Violet... It's robot versions of Pokemon that are coming from the future. That explains why uh, I didn't recognize it. Yeah, this one is the prehistoric version of Salamence. Weird. And they all look fucking terrible. It's so bad. Well, that's why you're redoing it. I'm not redoing it. I'm. I have to use its aesthetic and make a make a weapon. I'm not happy about it. You know what? I'm on this brush. Let's mess around with it. You know, mm -hmm. when when picking this Pokemon, I didn't think this was going to bring you anger, and now I'm kind of happy I picked it. I mean, I love it. It makes me it makes me so happy. Oh, good. Um, it's a Pokemon I really enjoy, and I'm, I love it so much that if you were ever to take it away from me, I'd be... 
I'd be at a loss. It'd be plum fucked. So, what I'm hearing, Travis, is if you were a uh, Pokemon trainer in, like, the anime, this would be your main? Um... Nah, I'd probably... Well, I don't want to take it away from I you. I mean, based on the story of the game, I wouldn't survive going to this place. Oh, because it's very irradiated. Yeah. So my eyes would melt and it'd be a whole Chernobyl scenario. I wonder if they can use Pokemon. Like, just give someone some unknown for eyes. That would work, right? Yeah, some... Well, you see, you can't do that because even in the Pokemon world, they have Chimera laws that prevent you from fusing animal parts onto humans. That's why Bill was uh, above Cerulean City, being <laughs> ostracized from the general public. Doing weird Orochimaru he, level experiments. He put Meowth ears on his head and a Meowth tail on his butt. Disgusting. I think the Pokemon world is just vehemently against furries. Makes sense. If you look up the wiki, look, you would find the we're furry. We're looking at the, the furry there are Pokemon world. here. There's a line, and we all gotta agree not to cross it. And I think we all know what that line is, right, <laughs> Phil? I like to imagine this is just Doctor Phil off in the corner, sweating profusely. <laughs> Well, look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It looks like a pretty girl wearing a dress. <laughs> My god. <laughs> yikes. Just <laughs> yikes. Man, Dr. Phil, he looks like, uh... Hmm. How do I want to attack him physically? Um, uh, his, obviously, his life points directly. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I'm a normal type Pokemon. I get that stab. <laughs> so you want to stab Doctor Phil? No, no, same type attack bonus. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Uh, this this has gotten too meta. I just I'm, I'm just gonna drop it. I don't want to. You know, I'm always down to talk Pokemon technical talk, but I know that's not. Oh, do you that's know? It's pretty narrow casting. Yeah. It's just when ah. when you have the same when you have like a fire type Pokemon use a fire type move, you do more damage. I had to figure out what I wanted to make. I was gonna do like the assassin gauntlet, but it felt a little too on the nose. But now I'm here. Yeah, mine's on the nose. Aaron, you got a job to do. Uh, what's up? Oh, uh, look at chat. You're right, you're right. Where did my There's... chat go? What the fuck? There were a couple of things I could have done here, but I feel like I'm just gonna go the obvious route. Oh, I need to enlarge Kirby? I can do that. See, like, I would have even been happy with, uh, Salamence, because it's just, like, they took already okay and sometimes well-designed Pokemon for the, the Paradox Pokemon and just made them bad. And in a series that was built upon, like, good mascot design... It just feels kind of apocryphal. It does feel like their legendaries and pseudo legendaries have been getting worse each generation. And I always hate to sound like a Gen One-er, I guess, but <laughs> it it doesn't have the same charm lately. Like it just needs better better art direction. I mean, I would but argue like... the drops off is after Gen Three. Uh, a lot of people don't even like Gen 3. Like, I, I adored Gen 3. 
and I thought uh, there was a lot of really cool designs in there. But yeah. uh, even Gen 5 had like a lot of really cool designs that I loved. Um, but I feel like because of how big they've gotten and what the production cycle is supposedly like for uh, Game Freak, that they may not even have that much say in design work now because it's all merchandise based. I, I could see that, unfortunately. And also, like, Ken Sugimori hasn't been a part of it in ages decades. and ages. Decades. Like, pro I think since Gen 2. But I mean, like, look at Gen 6. You had a, a really cool looking Lucha Bird. You had Incineroar, who just fucking rules. Uh,. All the starters from Gen 6 were a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, refresh me on those if you could. Uh, you got... Wait, no, Incineroar was 7. Um, but Gen 6 had Greninja... Gymchar? Uh, Delphox and... Oh, yeah. Er... Yeah, Delphox and... Uh, Chespin. Chestnut. Wait... Let me look up Chespin. He's a little pistachio. Oh, I, uh, that's actually one of my least favorite starter evolution lines. <laughs> Chespin is fine, uh, but his middle one looks like a fucking pervert. Yeah, Go. he just needs to come out of his shell! Ah, uh, alright, never mind. Not even defending Chespin. Get it away. Kill it. <laughs> Yeah, the dog doesn't like it either. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Chestnut. Looks I like it. It's a it's a big spiky pistachio. It just seems a little over designed for me. It has a lot of the gotcha. qualities that I don't like about some of the newer newer designs. But hey. If you like it, like just a uh, lack of cohesiveness, or yeah, just too much. Uh... It's too much and too much of it. Fair, but it is called like the spiky armored Pokemon, so that does excuse it a little bit. Yeah, it's hard to do spikes in a very simplistic way. Right. That being said. Quillfish wore it well. Yeah. And as much as I saw him in competitive play, uh, Ferrothorn did not wear it well. Was that a, a common pick in competitive play? Uh, yeah. Really good mechanically. I don't like the design because it looks like a. It's got a lot going on. It's supposed to be kind of like a, a bramble or one of those. You know, those little burrs that would stick onto you whenever you yeah. walk through tall grass? Yeah. It's basically one of those, but it's grass steel and it just looks like a UFO with little tendrils coming off of it. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Kind of gross. Yeah. Nevin says Mudkip's middle evolution is our least favorite starter. Uh, a lot that... of the middle evolutions are bad. Yeah, is that Marsh Thump? Yeah. Like... Honestly, that generation had only had one of the few middle evolutions I liked cool. past uh, past Gen One. Uh, Grovile. Oh, I'm thinking of two. Yeah, you know, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I actually liked it better than the the final evolution. I agree. I also think just Mudkip's line sucks after Mudkip. Ooh, harsh. You don't like Mega Swampert? his big Popeye arms? 
Um, he looks like in the Pokemon universe, he would be the poster child for Stranger Danger. <laughs> Hey kids, look out for this swamp pervert. Actually, I'm gonna keep it pencil-y. I think that fits ice a little bit more. Hell yeah. <gasps> My name is Bronus! Bronus, thank you! I wonder who it could be! Uh... Me too. I certainly appreciate the follow, because... Yeah, thank you. Bronus is a genuinely good person, and a really fun guy. Yeah. I'm not gonna second that part. But you're not gonna you second You don't have to. More for me. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta let Travis have the glory. And the seconds. He always comes back for seconds. Thirds. Ooh. You're a hungry boy. You know it. Hungry for that bronus. Always. It was, uh, with Bronus and another friend, Cody, who, uh, we all watched that Creator Clash together. Oh, yeah. Uh, talk about it. I haven't, I didn't see any of it aside from the, uh, the pre-show. I wish I would watch that this year. It was amazing. Um, if you can, I mean, they're uploading all the fights to YouTube because, yeah. you know, the whole event for charity anyway. And everybody benefits from visibility, but, uh, like, the fights I was really hype about, um, Dad and AB, uh, I think only went one round, which was Whoa. disappointing, but, but it was a really good fight, like, I never thought I'd see Dad look gassed, but... Wow. I'll have to watch that. Cause, uh... I don't know, he might just, like, explode. Did he do the same strategy with Matt? Uh, he tried that AB was a far more competent boxer. Yeah. And so it was really cool. Like, I don't want to give away too much because right. you haven't seen it, but it's a, it's a really good fight. Um... If you had missed the news, Aaron Hansen took home that W, and it was really nice to see. I only say it so liberally because, you know, it was all over social media after. Mm -hmm. But it was a really nice fight. Uh, his opponent, Jarvis, did really good. Um, That's another one where it was short but good. Another one? That yeah, uh, just like the Dad AB fight. That uh, the Jarvis Aaron one was uh, a short fight, but a good one. Yeah, uh, fucking Harley versus uh, Johnny. I don't know who Johnny is. Oh yeah, that was a I keep wild. On... I'm trying to remember the name you used in the fight. Uh... John Tron. No. Um, <laughs> Mayor of <laughs> John Head again. Ooh, they should do Aaron versus because John. Because he wasn't Trump. allowed to use he wasn't allowed to use the name John Morrison, which is his ref wrestling name. Oh, wait! I didn't even realize that's who that was. Well, if you would have told me it was John Morrison, I would have known. Well, it didn't seem like he wanted that out there. That's fair. That's fair. I Probably mean, just can't. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, he's WWE, right? I don't. Remember. I believe. Because, yeah, WWE maintains, or retains all those rights. AEW's a little more Let you do forgiving whatever. about that. Yeah, they had Dad on there. Yeah. And that was one of the things Dad called out. Um, oh, really? That's good. At, after his fight, he's like, yeah. Uh, I've had two contracts. Two signed contracts. Come on, WWE. Come on, AEW. Yikes. Like, what are you doing? It's gotta be a liability thing, but, like, the... The way Dad's career is going, like, they've got a strike while it's hot. Yep. Because Creator Clash 1 is, like, it blew up his spot, and 
Good for him, because he put in all that work. Yeah. He definitely deserves any accolades he gets. Mm-hmm. We're at 13.30 left. Thank you. How you liking yours, Travis? He hates it. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I will not move on that point. Wow, well, okay. How about you? I'm liking mine a lot. I'm glad I didn't go my very first obvious choice. What was your first choice? I was gonna do, like, a um, Diablo 2 style assassin glove, where it's just, like, uh, the three prongs on the end, like a, yeah. like a cat's claw or something, and I'm like, that just feels a little, eh. But, uh, I, I like the, uh, I'll just say it, I like the spear direction a lot more. Oh, well, spear's a cool choice. When yeah, in doubt. I had a hard time... I had a hard time coming up with anything that didn't feel too on the nose. So I just, rather than waste a bunch more time trying to... trying to figure it out, I just went for choice, best choice. Because I, uh... I also thought about doing a fan, like Tana's Ooh. fan. Yeah. But I just didn't see how much how much of the the Pokemon I could capture in that. I <laughs> capture a Pokemon. Well, it depends on if uh, color adds a lot. Yeah. So if you were planning on just doing color from the start, that would uh, be what you think about. Yeah, if I would have mm. stuck with the fan, I was actually going to do, like, a painterly route, but then I'm like, mm. Don't know. I just, it didn't, I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Go with your gut. Did I... Aha! I did good line work. I'm waiting for the reveal. Ooh, yeah, we're getting in it now. Um, but yeah, uh, on Creator Clash, like, even a lot of the unknown fights were, were really cool. Oh, what was the, uh, uh, who did Yodeling Haley fight? Uh, Yodeling Haley fought a League of Legends TikToker. Oh, uh, uh, that's who got the piss beat out of him. No, but she... They went five rounds. Wow. Oh, yeah, she, she took it. It was just... I heard it was a bloodbath. I came in on round five. Well, Haley has done this before and yeah, had any inkling well of what it. to expect. But, like, you'd see, she's like, all right, I... I can't let this happen again. Got her fucking head in the game. And also, last year, she was outweighted and outheighted, like most of the matches were. These were a lot more uh, balanced. Yeah. I think they got a lot of flack for that. I think the Aaron Hansen fight especially. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, they didn't even take that fight seriously because Aaron would have died. Yeah, he had like 40 pounds on him or something. 40 uh, pounds and like an entire head. Yeah. And reach. Like it was just you lose in every aspect. Yeah, and he had height and weight on uh, John Morrison. Wow. But being a professional wrestler, <laughs> he wasn't afraid to get in there and get where he needed to be. Right. So Harley couldn't really leverage it. Um, the Michelle and Cortez fight was insane. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. It looked like a professional uh, fight from Michelle the whole time. Hmm. And, uh... Fuck okay, it, who was fighting, uh... The person from Critical Role? I didn't even know there was one. I missed the first half. Oh, this is one of the later ones. Uh, there was... Oh. Marisha Ray. What? 
I have to look this up. Marisha? Wait, wasn't that the name of the person who fought Haley? Uh, no. It was... Oh no, it was! Okay, I thought so, because, um... I got... Grace kept telling me about it. For some reason, I thought it was the TikToker that fought Haley. Um... You just wanted a TikToker to get the shit beat out of him. Maybe. But you could do that anyway. Except for they're usually children. You can't really do that anyway. Mmm. <laughs> How with that attitude? I mean, you could have their uh, you could have their parents sign a waiver. Okay. I mean, if the parents agree to it, they know what's best for their kid, right? That's oh. why I got it up. It was Jayla Ray in another fight. That was the the TikToker. Oh, I can definitely see the. Yeah, they fought Abilene and Sabrina. Yeah, that one I missed. Who did uh, Sabrina fight last time? Uh, Sabrina wasn't in it last time. No? Why do I recognize that name aside from Super Mega Cat? Um, I mean, that's probably why, but... but uh... we, had, we had talked about her before, so I assume that she was in the Creator Clash last time. I'm just trying to remember why we even talked about um, her previously. Might have been... Like, the whole thing with Gus Johnson. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Speaking but, of... Sorry? Oh no, I was just gonna say, like, on the Super Mega Cash, she was... She was really good. Yeah, she fit right in. Mm-hmm. Like, there are some people that can't really vibe so much with their, their like, chaotic energy, and she was fine. Yeah, they have an abrasiveness about them. <laughs> yeah. You, so you sort of get it and like it, or you don't. Mm-hmm. Just like that, uh, that referee who was standing behind during... Yeah! Them singing the, the national anthem. <laughs> he was not happy. He was ready to, like, you can tell he went home and, like, bitched about that. Punched his wall oh. a couple times. Holy okay. shit. I, at the first cartoon sound effect in, during the national anthem backing track, like, I, I lost my fucking mind. Dude, I, I had to check, I thought it was another tab I had open. <laughs> Like, the whole time I'm just sitting there like, he's not actually going to play the fucking guitar, is he? Oh, no, no, they they set all that up, and then it was unplugged. Yeah, they definitely should have wasted just ten more seconds plugging it in, just to complete the bit. Just to not use it! Yeah. <laughs> uh. Like, even, like, he hits it and it does nothing, and then he goes and, like, fucks with it a little bit to turn it on. I wonder if... Or, or, oh, he should have spent time tuning it. I wonder if that was even intentional for it to have come unplugged. Oh, uh, I would imagine. I don't know, we might hear about it on one of the mega casts. I'm sure they were just so, like, nervous being out there to begin with, though. <laughs> yeah. I, Matt was probably... what they were about to do. Matt was probably just happy not to have the shit beat out of him this time. <laughs> or not Matt, Ryan. Or no, 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 Matt, Matt. I had a Matt, both of them. Both of them, but Matt I... was the 23 second one. Yeah, Matt took it on the shit. Or Ryan. Fuck it. Yeah, God, Ryan. I keep transposing. Ryan was great. He fought. I don't remember who. I had not uh, watched enough Super Mega. It was a big, big guy, though. Yeah, was it, it was Internet Comment Indicator? Or... I think. Who thought I did a thing? I don't remember. I don't fucking know half these people, man. Same. I did a thing was when we were uh, upset wasn't wasn't there this time because they were on the on the card until like day of I think. Ooh. Yeah, something happened. What happened to him? 
I don't know. I didn't look much into it, I'll be honest, but... I know somebody uh, got removed from the tournament for... Froggy Fresh. What? Yeah, for shit-talking somebody's mom. What? Yeah, uh, started shit-talking to Nisa's mom on Twitter, and, uh, tweeting at her, and so, like, he was shit-talking, but he took it too far. Well, that's upsetting. So I for I think it might have been one of the openers that was kind of a, a last minute swap in. Cause that's one of the people yeah, I was, I was looking... excited to see. Well you can go catch him over at uh at Misfits, which <laughs> is the the Paul Brothers one. I guess I'll have to. Yeah, he he went over there immediately. Yeah, I would too. Be like, well, I've been hyped up for this and hyping this up for the past, like, eight months. I really think they should do a, uh... Like a Creator Clash versus Misfits. Mm hmm That'd be funny. I'm trying to read exactly what he said. Because, uh... Johnny called out both bra both Paul brothers. And then challenged the guy who... Come to fruition. What was the guy he challenged you to fight? KSI? Um... He said fuck the Paul brothers and he wanted to fight one of the guys who beat him. Which I think his name was KSI. Oh, uh, okay. That'll make sense. I don't remember exactly how that all went down. Neither do I. It was... It was a wild night. There was a lot to... A lot to take in. They moved very fast this year. Mm-hmm. Like... We were joking, because they had that just absolute miss of a Crash Bandicoot sketch. Uh, oh. That just seemed to have, like, no cohesiveness going on. Um, we're like, what if they just told these guys to go out and vamp for time because these matches aren't going as long as they expected? I want, you know, I could see that for sure. Like, did you catch this sketch at all? No, I, uh, that sounds like it was after. I came in at the end of the Haley Marisha fight. Okay, this was like half time, and it was just. It was such a miss. Um, and such a mess. Like, it was a bunch of people. I didn't know who any of them were. And they're coming out pretending to be big shots, much in the way, like, uh. Some wrestlers would, like, uh, you know, the best friends coming out. Yeah, or... they're, they're trying to play the crowd, but it just wasn't working. No, because they kept trying to do these bits, but it seemed like they were all trying to do their own bits. And none of them were connected in any way. And then Crash Bandicoot comes out and beats him up. And then a guy drinks glue and gets beat up by Crash Bandicoot, and... What's the correlation? That's, I don't know, yeah, maybe the problem. maybe it's based off of their own channels, you know, their own themes and gimmicks from their own products, but I didn't know who any of them were. Yeah, it sounds like it just didn't work too well. It'd be like if we came out there and just started making references, started about talking about ca to our own fucking show, and we're like, capitalism, make Kirby bigger! Start talking about lawyers, and everyone's like, what the fuck is happening? No, it's the show, don't you get it? We have 28 subscribers! Shit, that shot down. A new creator class was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I had to go. So that's where you've been, Dakota. You've been training for creator clash. 
I've, no, I've been training to go to Creator Clash, not participate. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I mean, there's You've been a... buying a bunch of plane tickets in preparation just to learn how. I mean, honestly, I kind of would make use of that. <laughs> I kind of need to learn. Well, it's not Who's hard. Who's like the present? Yeah, they want your money, it turns out. Yeah. They don't even care if you don't show up. In fact, I think they'd rather you... They... They count on it. Yeah, they actually do. It's pretty disgusting. They overbook. A lo most airlines will just overbook their planes. Yeah, and I understand the necessity of it from a... Logistical standpoint? Like a 1980s perspective, but... It's still shitty that if everyone shows up, there's not enough seats. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And apparently they have to comp you for, like, if you have to wait longer than, like, two hours. Good to know. Yeah. There's Should there's I? some TikToks I've seen. I'd just make that my job, then. Fucking beat that system, because it's a busted-ass system. Many are. Uh, speaking of busted-ass systems, that's time! <laughs> Can I add this for the last second? Yeah, sure. Not what I intended, but it kind of works. Let me just do that. Eh, too dark. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, I like that. Alright, uh, Dakota, tell me about your weapon. Uh, you stab. Ooh. I, that's basically it. Bear to, he's got his little ice chinny chin chin, and uh, the hair on the chinny chin chin murders. So why, uh, why does it look like it's slashing, then? Oh, he's got you You there. got it. You gotta do your flourishes to intimidate oh, the enemy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a Dante. Now, if you have, yeah, if you have a spear and you're not doing some fancy shit with it, Why just get a, a knife. Yeah. <laughs> or or a uh, yeah. I don't know, just a a stick. Yeah, no one actually cares about the reach. They just want to do cool. It's the same idea as nunchucks. You know, I want a D and D character that uses nunchucks because no one ever does. I want a D&D &D character that uses a rope dart. Yeah, I've thought about it before. Which is basically, like, what Scorpion uses. Yeah. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a dart with a rope. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, you would, the, uh... you would weight it with, like, a ball at the end just to give it more centrifugal force. The new movie did a good job showing that off. Really? I thought so. I, more than any other movie has ever explained it. Yeah. I haven't seen a Mortal Kombat since the original movies. And, you know, I was young enough to think, this is alright. New one's exactly what you expect if you go on expecting just a Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah. You'll that, like it. That's exactly what I want out of a Mortal yeah. Kombat movie. It had very bad ADRing. Um, the plot line was pretty inconsequential because we're just yep. there to see the characters we like. Yeah, you're just there to see some fights. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my weapon's pretty straightforward. You look at the Pokemon, you look at the weapon, you go, okay. You you hold the sticky part. Nah, yes. that's, that's really cool. I like the like the icicle beard as a jumping off point. And yeah. obviously the fur was a really good touch. Yeah, I figured it had to be. An, I mean, look at his little, look at his fucking gooch. It's so poopy. Yeah, it's like I a had bush. To, <laughs> yeah, I had to put it in there. He's like a 70s porn star down there. <laughs> Chew. I mean, you oh, look at God. the upstairs, and then you look at the downstairs. Now I'm just seeing him <laughs> as, like, like a 60-year-old parent who's, like, meeting the <laughs> the boyfriend. It looks like he's just wearing Real pants. Open. It looks like he's just wearing, like, pants from the shadowing, and then you have, like, the puffy belly hair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Travis, how about yours? Uh, mine's really straightforward. I guess I should get a, a picture of the... The reference in. Give me one sec. Um, 
I but yeah, know. it's a big flying dragon, and so I gave him a, a big axe and big gave him wind axe. wind whooshies. It feels oddly Kirby esque to me. I don't know why. I, I think it's that. Color. I think the color scheme has a lot yeah. to do with that. And let me. What was your dumbass Pokemon's name again? Roaring like, Moon. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. That's why Ooh, I was like, this. is this a fucking Pokemon? Cause that's just two words. There's a prehistoric Jigglypuff named Screamtail. I had thought about also giving you guys traits to try to put into that, but I figured that'd be too hard. It, it looks like <laughs> Salamance mixed with that one pseudo-legendary dragon from a couple gens ago that's just ugly. Oh, the, the moon one? No, I can't uh, remember. I don't think you mean Rayquaza. It's in something... Ugly dragon Pokemon. I'm just curious if it'll come up. Uh, Lunala? Oh, right away. Uh, what's your name, buddy? Uh, it's, it's all spiky, redhead. Dragon. Oh, give it down. Oh! Well, hold on. What was the one you just said? Give it down. It was the Y Legendary, the Bacon Bird. Oh, uh, I'm okay. With that bacon one. That's not Bird. Great, yeah, it was Pixie Sticks and Bacon Bird. Wow. Because the other one was a fairy stag yeah. that had a bunch of colors going on. That's the one I had. Same. I kinda I kinda like the ancient Jigglypuff. I hate it. I hate it a lot. Same reason I hated the uh that they made Jigglypuff Harry in the Detective Pikachu movie. Ugh. Ew. Oh, Ah, never mind. I like the art for it, but in game it looks so much worse. Oh yeah, it's they're all really bad. Why won't it let me click on these images? What the fuck? Fine, I'll close you. Bye. Anyway, let's clash these weapons and get some attaboys. All right, Dakota, you let me get to run out there in chat. Start chanting like a like a stadium full yeah. of spectators. Rah, rah. Um, I was halfway at expecting... Add a boy. Add a boy. Oh, add a boy. Oh, man. I'm waiting for the day we ask for that, and it's just a sea of bets instead. <laughs> I had to take it. <laughs> I'll bring you up to uh, 1799, Dakota. Oh, my favorite year. What happened, then? I don't know. Oh, you just like the year? Yeah. It's all been downhill since then. Mmm, no, I think that one was a little closer. Like, let's try the five, six year mark. Anyway. And then, Travis, you're at, uh, 1500. Ooh, I've got an uphill battle. A little bit of an uphill battle. I thought it was a little, and I know part of it's just the Pokemon. It was a little too similar to the Pokemon, if you know what I mean. Okay. Hey, I, I know. Hey, uh, Ooh. Uh, I am just, I'm just, uh, saying what I'm saying. Man, you just handed him a low-caliber gun and put on body armor and said, "Why can't you puncture?" <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just, just aim for my neck, all right? Yeah, like, come on, <laughs> quit trying to shoot me and shoot me, you fuck. You guys want to go BRB for a bit? Yeah, you might need it, or Travis will hurt you. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, find my weapons. My, my I'm gonna go find my piano wire. I'm gonna get a soda so I can playfully crack it at a tense moment. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I guess we'll uh, be right back.
Welcome back! I hope you guys had a good break. But, now it's not the time for, uh, niceties or anything like that. Now it's the time for fights. It's the fighting episode! It's the combat arena! <laughs> I almost choked on my soda. That fucking killed me. Um... No. Where, where was I? Nope. It's gone. It wasn't even here to begin with, let's be honest. I'm just using that as an excuse. I'm your huckleberry. Ooh, thanks for the sub. Wait, what? But... Oh, I thought I heard the sub noise. Then yes. I forgot I uploaded it. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> realize that's what that was. <laughs> alright, alright, no, sorry, I'm done. I'm done fucking around, let's go. Anyway, let's fucking fight! Oh. This, okay. It's all been leading up to this. We're gonna fight now. We're finally gonna settle this. Yeah, we're gonna turn on our cams and throw down. Just kidding. Ha ha ha, I gotcha. Yeah, we weren't invited to create Clash this year. Nope. The only Next thing. Next year? Hmm? Better start training now. The only thing we were invited to was the Battle of the Bands. Ooh, yeah, rock and roll. It doesn't doesn't have to be rock and roll if if you're a square. A chow. <laughs> we're just, we're a bunch of circle chads in here. You said that right as I was drawing a circle. That was well timed. <laughs> Proving my point. So, if this uh this originally came from the idea of like brutal legend, it's a uh, a music genre warrior of some sort. You take a, a music genre and you uh, make a make a little dude or dudette or in dude in, in dude I don't know that uh, is reminiscent of whatever genre you pick. Um, I don't know if there's any more lead up to that really. No, no I, I will say good. this. Uh, mine is based on a trope that is very specific. All right. I love it. So just, unless just you're into sort of... super deep experimental trash, you just won't get it. Yeah, it's just not, uh, not for you. This is for the if you you're not heard... into use napkin core. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it's actually a Southwest Goblin core. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I only, uh, I only listened to Spider Bite. Uh, I like Goblin Core, but only when it was based out of Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is like, if you've listened to a lot of the newer metal from the past ten years, you'll understand once I explain for sure. <laughs> so specific... I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you out here, is it specifically Necro Goblicon? Or... There's another, another Goblin-themed metal band. No, 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 this isn't an excuse to draw goblins. Um, <laughs> once I get a, my drawing part way, I will find a song sample that will perfectly illustrate this. Ooh, feasible drop. Your wish uh, is my command. Wants to, wants to send me an attaboy. Thank you. Thanks, drop. He's just looking out for you. All right, I got 60 on the clock. You guys ready? Uh, I will pause for yeah. a minute because I thought we had started. Oh, nope. Three, two, one, go. How are you doing tonight, Feasible Drop? It's uh, pretty commendable of you to give an attaboy to Travisor. I appreciate it. We're happy to have you here. You know what? I don't think I ever asked. How are you doing tonight, Aaron? Oh, I'm fine. I'm a little tired, but that's pretty normal. Uh, yeah, that's Mondays for you. That's right. Yeah, no one telling Garfield. I kind of would have preferred it if you just left it where you didn't ask. Yeah, I know. I'm just bringing <laughs> it down. No, I'm fine. I've been still playing a lot of Breath of the Wild, leading up to Here Tears of the Kingdom. Gearing up. I'm excited. I'm trying not to play it too much so that I don't burn myself out of the whole thing. But it's been fun. Yeah, that's fair. That's good. I, uh... 
I don't know that I'll be able to get into Tears of the Kingdom anytime soon. Because I got those tickets for Baby Clock. Ooh, Baby Clock. I forgot about it. So I'm pretty hype about that. Hell yeah. Because also I'm sick of fucking resale prices. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't I don't shop resale. I don't go I don't sell my shit to GameStop. It's all a ripoff. Yeah, and Ticketmaster being in charge of Honestly, most of the music scene uh is just egregious. Oh, and it's been that way for decades since like the mid 90s. Yeah. No one really stepped up to stop them and so they got hyper massive and so like the Listed price for a ticket was $65, and ended up being $85 by the time I got to check out. Easy um, luck. For nothing other than buying the ticket. Yep, that's why I tell people to not, uh, not book a room for, like, a hotel online via, like, a third party. Because, yeah, it looks cheaper, but it won't be cheaper. No. no. And that's such a... That's also a huge fucking racket, because they don't give the hotel employees the tools they need, they don't train them properly on the tools they need to uh, effectively use that system, and then that system also has gates that keep, like, the built-in reservation hotlines from accessing, like, room blocks. Yep. It's all stupid. It should all talk to each other, and it doesn't. No, it's such bad software, and then nobody knows anything because nobody's... It's almost by design that nobody knows anything because left brain doesn't know what the right brain's thinking, and never never the two shall meet. <laughs> like, I was trying to book a, book a hotel for a con I'm going to and get into the con block, but because whenever a room is in a block, it shows it as reserved on everybody's system. Oh, yeah. They're just like, yeah, we're overbooked. And then I finally got to somebody who understood the, the block, and they're like, oh, it says you have to go through the link on their website. And I go to their website, which is just absolute dog shit, <laughs> yeah. to find, like, the hidden hyperlink to get to the the room block and was able to book a room. And then you had to cancel your old room? Or you couldn't get an old, uh, your room originally, because they were overbooked? I couldn't get it originally because yeah. they were oversold 160 rooms. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot when we were oversold three. Jesus. Yeah, it's a joke. But yeah, fuck Ticketmaster, fuck, uh, like, all hotels. Yeah. Every last one. I can say that. My boss yeah, as long as you're not showing any favoritism. I'm trying. And honestly, what the, what would they do without you? Uh, hire someone worse. Eventually. Only if they could convince them to work for <laughs> less money. <laughs> yeah. We had, a uh, like, six housekeepers walk out in the same day once. That was fun. Good for them. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, my 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 superiors did not like that. Yeah, I'm sure it made your job a little harder, but yeah. still, like, you're gonna be on the right side of that line. Right. Um. I forgot what started this whole thing. Oh, yeah! Gex tickets. Like, it was the same night as Creator Clash, so I don't... Obviously, if I could have been in both places at once, I would have loved yeah. to have been. <laughs> but I saved money by not going to see Gex. Did, Because uh, I missed sales and... Did what? Did it even happen with the storm? Yeah. Oh. I talked to a bunch of people who went, um... One of my friends actually went from, like, joined us at the pay-per-view, and was like, I was able to snag Gex tickets. 
because they were they got on that morning and bought them for forty dollars. Oh my god! I checked the night before and it was a hundred thirty. Holy shit! And then I checked again like that day and it was a hundred. So they had dipped down and shot back up again. Wow. Your friend uh, got lucky. Oh yeah. All right, I found it. Sorry, I've been searching uh, in between drawing for the song. One of the songs that does this. It's so fucking stupid. Aaron, you might be able to figure it out. Are you um, gonna share with the class? No, I'm not sure yet. All right, Aaron, this is a. J Can you listen to something without stream hearing it? Um. Uh, yeah, I can use my phone. Okay. Um, let me know when you're ready, and I'll give you the song. Yeah, whenever. Alright, it's, uh, Counting Worms. to hear stuff like this. Yeah, it's, uh, Counting Worms by Knocked Loose. So I guess I'll just fill time, uh... There's probably at yeah. least three worms, um, maybe four. Yeah, I really don't know what method, or if they're, like, just counting the worms that happen to be there, or if they're, like, actively looking for more worms. That's, like, the biggest question. Uh, no, they're tagging them and sending them back into the wild, but... Oh, uh, like fish, if they're just not big enough, you throw them back? Yeah. Oh, I, can I can't make a up. meal out of this. Come back into your bigger worm. I'm looking for a real shy halud. A real what? Huh? Shy halud. Don't the know the great time. makers. The the giant worms that reside inside Dune. Oh, okay. Uh, on the planet the... Arrakis. You you said that and suddenly it all clicked. Don't fucking talk to me about worms, my man. Yeah, Aaron, it was... I don't know if you can still hear us. It was like only 24 seconds in or something. Well, I wanted to hear the whole song. Alright, alright. Just making sure you knew where it was at in case you missed it. No, I... Okay, well, in lighten us. Uh, I got it all. You get it all? Yeah, every last bit. Every little note, every little uh, vocal inflection. Ah, okay. We're on the same page. <laughs> yeah. We can play it for class once it's time. Uh, I don't think we Ooh, can. I I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I don't want you to get the surprise ruined, because I think it's going to be funnier if you see this, go why, and then hear it. All right, so you gonna have like a, a timestamp on your on your drawing for me? <laughs> I mean, I can. Yeah, put it right on the belt buckle. Twenty. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so, thank you for remembering that. That's just what you said. I don't know if it was. Uh, it's close to that. I'll figure it out. I'm also trying to make this guy look as stereotypical for like the modern vocalist of some of the shit I listen to, <laughs> and I'm forgetting one integral part, I believe. Which is the nondescript hat. Oh, but what hat? No, like literally just a ball cap. Yeah, I was just trying to think if it had anything on it. Or is it just. It's nondescript. Like it. It kind of hurts to look at it, or at least to try and recount it. It's just the. You know, the. What do they call it? The ideal of a hat. Yeah. I'm just gonna nod. Platonic ideal. I don't think that's right. Platonic ideal? Platonic? Yeah. I thought the platonic ideal was whenever you. It might be. It it's might. like the basis elements to form that that thing, that concept. Yep. This is the perfect, absolute, and internal forms. Yeah, so when you see it, it's just hat. 
Like when you, As a certain writer cleverly put it, a capital H hat. I don't know what writer you're talking about, but I do. Yeah, uh, I think they know, and I thought it was really clever, and it was really fun reading that part. Yeah. But, uh, Travis, how, you, how do you feel about... Wow. I was seeing how far Dakota was, and thought that there was a lot less time. Until I zoomed out? No. How much time? There's still 48 minutes. Oh, is this forever? I think so. Our, I think we're in my hell. eternity. God, I. It's so funny to me how much of this probably won't land for a lot of people, but I think this is just the stupidest shit in the best way. You're just so proud of it, and it's just I'm, like you're gonna get crickets. I, I wasn't sure if this was gonna <laughs> go my way. It's cold shot, but uh. Honestly, what would spawn this whole idea? Like, I've been playing Brutal Legend for the first time because I missed out on that whole thing. Oh, nice. Because uh, was it? It wasn't exclusive, was it? No. When it came out, nope. do you remember? I don't believe so. I just don't think I ever had it. Which I guess is a another big barring factor is not having a ton of disposable income as a child. Yeah, thank God, now but, we, we got millions. Yeah, that's what being an adult is, right? Yeah, got more money than cents. Uh, I sure do. You're just lousy with money. But yeah, Brutal Legend is uh, really good. I, I recommend it for pretty much anyone. And I'm like, well, if you don't like it, oh well. Haha, you bought it. Yeah, if it's not for you. Like, I still haven't gotten to the... Like, I know the basic conceit of the game, um, because I was all there for the hype of it. Mm -hmm. But I still haven't gotten to, like, the core RTS gameplay yet. Yeah. But the, uh, I got to that point with the spiders, where it's, like, just you on your own. Oh, that part's so good. It's tough. But the music is just so, like... The lead-in. I've never been able to find that song specifically with that, like, slow guitar lead-in whenever you're walking up to the top of the mountain or whatever. It wasn't mm -hmm. a mountain, but yeah. Yeah, thematically, it was just, like, a perfect moment. It was so cool, and, like, it's really hard to do that in a game because you have... You are so... You're in control of the pacing. Yeah. Which I think was, like, one of the few minor gripes I had with Psychonauts 2. Is that they made it... They had, like, all these story elements, but the pacing was thrown off because I didn't necessarily play it optimally. Mm-hmm. I see what you mean, yeah. But they fucking nailed it in Brutal Legend. And I think they'll keep nailing it in specific parts. Like, it does just keep moving. Mm hmm. But yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that was just such an amazing moment. Yeah. I'm excited to uh, see what you think about more stuff about it. Just hear your updates, because I love that game. Yeah, like, I'm already exploring this giant world, like, it gives you those viewfinders, just to, it's just like, hey, look at this cool thing we made. Yep. Like, do those actually serve a functional purpose going forward, or? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, so it's just like, hey, we made a monument. Yeah. Look at it. Look at this cool shit. Our team worked hard, we're proud of them. Did you uh, ever see or play it, Dakota? Uh, seen it, never played it. Okay. That's one I would do what Travis is doing and go back and try it. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And it's dirt cheap it... on sale. Yeah, I got the uh, I got the game and soundtrack on sale, so I might actually have a copy of that uh, the song you're talking about. Maybe. Maybe. 
And I think I said it on Thursday. Like, I think I want to cosplay Eddie. You totally should. Because I... Honestly, based off of everything I have, it'd be a pretty easy one to pull together. Yeah. I just don't have... Grotesquely massive arms. And you keep having some, uh... Some psychic ability or something, because you've you've called out Dakota's picture a couple times this Yeah. This stream. I was talking about Brutal Legend. Is he doing a Brutal Legend? Uh, no, but his person I has mean, grotesquely muscly arms. They would self describe their music as brutal. That's true. They look uh, like they would fit in. It cause... Cause, uh... What's up? I looked up some of the, like, I just looked up Eddie Riggs when thinking about doing a cosplay. Yeah. And one of the things that comes up is a lot of the promo stuff with Jack Black, and he's got giant prosthetic arms <laughs> for all of the promo stuff, <laughs> and he's wearing a Brutal Legend shirt. That's so great. Just, like, inflatable arms or some shit. Yeah, he's got anchor arms. <laughs> I was gonna say that uh, Dakota's guy looks like he'd fit in the salty splatoon. <laughs> He's pretty tough. Maybe I am prescient. Figuring out where I want to go from here. Go home. You can go over to Weenie Hut Juniors. Yeah. Where are you there, buddy? Oh, you're at Weenie Hut Juniors? <laughs> and home. One and the same, friend. <laughs> oh, you own Weenie Hut Juniors? Or do you rent No, no, no. It? Family business, family. Oh, so you don't even get paid for it. What do you mean? I don't have to... Like, I, I just... I'm here. That's, that's the payment. Yeah, your payment's <laughs> living. I mean... What more do I need? Unfortunately, that's a lot of people's payments. It's just living. Oh my god, stop. Capitalism, and they baby. should be grateful for it. Yeah. You're able to have shelter and food. And we provide you with clothes. With the uniform. So, what more do you need? Yeah, we give you that gray smock that you're obligated to wear at all times. We told you, pants are optional. I don't know why you keep wearing them. <laughs> Fucking prude. Yeah. I once, uh, while I was working at Taco Bell, called a uh, co-worker a prude because he wouldn't whip his dick and balls out on the uh, food line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to know that my chalupa comes from somebody who's hanging dog. <laughs> or hanging snatch. Yeah, well, I think it would have been dong. But I would have known... If he <laughs> wasn't a fucking prude. Yeah, come on. This is Taco Bell. Yeah. This is what we all aspire for. Yeah, this isn't no no Taco John's or... <laughs> or, uh... I don't know. Another tex mex why would Why would you know the name of any others if they don't hang on? It's true. Oh, you know they're hanging dong at Taco John's. <laughs> Taco... Not the name like Taco John, you just kind yeah. of assume. Taco John himself comes out and does it. <laughs> like, let Why, me how do you think he got the name? <laughs> let me Somebody just you. misheard Taco Dong once. <laughs> it's the... It's like the magic bike of taco restaurants. Was Magic Mike known for, for hanging loose? Oh yeah, it was Channing Tatum and I think Matthew McConaughey? All I remember is that around that time, I think it was around high school, uh -huh. I went to the theater to see a movie and there were a bunch of middle-aged women lined up outside the building <laughs> of our small town movie theater. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh my god, it's like a it's like a Sunday meet trading smut books. <laughs> but it was at the big movie. It was at the picture show, so the matinee. they didn't have to be ashamed of it. That's right. I wonder where their husbands were. Uh Probably Hooters, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <They're> like the <laughs> yeah. wings, right? Yeah. They just got good chicken there at Hooters. Yeah, that's why I go. Yeah, for the boot for the hoot for for the chicken. <laughs> it's no nobody else makes hot wings like that. The articles. Everyone misinterprets. <laughs> The hot and the wings are two separate items. You just order them at the same time. I could have ordered the wings without the hot this whole time? Not, yeah, they're I called just... naked. <laughs> yeah, I swear, I just... I'm just trying to enjoy my chicken and all these titties keep flying in my face. The wings are good. Stop judging. When I said I wanted breasts, I didn't mean this. <laughs> And the sitcom music just plays the rollout, and like everyone else is just staring at him as he freeze framed. <laughs> it's like he's doing it again. Get the defibrillator. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the the reverse of Hooters? Would it just be uh, Donners? Yeah, but like, what restaurant is that? Sweet. Um, I mean, Hooters' big thing is wings, right? What else are they known for? Uh, scantily clad Oops. workers. Well, I guess the opposite would be really dapper men serving, like... What's the most opposite to wing? What's the least sexual outfit? Ooh, that's a good point. Um, Probably, like, hmm. an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> I'm thinking... Yeah, maybe, but like when you say jumpsuit, like how how tight are we talking? Not. So it has to be ill-fitting. Yeah. yeah. Like Doctor Venture levels. Yeah. It has to be like a hazmat suit. Yeah, you got to make them worried to eat the food when it comes out. <laughs> and they bring it to you like each table is in its own bubble, and there's like an airlock between it. It's just a it, it's just a mush. You get to order your <laughs> flavor of mush. A tube they, of gray paste. And they like pneumatic tube a hamster feeder to you. <laughs> it looks like it'd be cleverly named, but it's just called the quarantine zone. Site H four one six zero one. That's so fucking good. I'm sorry. H zero zero T three R five. You get a bunch of uncomfortable questions asked with your meal based on what you ordered. You have to sign a <laughs> waiver. And the first waiver is to sign the next waiver. Yeah, in triplicate. Like you spend your whole time after you order just signing waivers. It takes like thirty minutes. They make you do your taxes. They want to make sure you're, like, perfectly unhorny for when the food comes out. Yep. To be fair, I would eat at a restaurant that's just, like, each each little area is a little bubble. That sounds pretty good. I would, too, but not if I have to eat, like... Colored mush. Gray, unhorny pace. Yeah. Yeah, I want my pace red and horny. <laughs> I want my pace throbbing. <laughs> I like my pace to ooze a different color liquid. So, like, you, you, you bite into it and it pops like a, an orange. I like my pace like I like my partners. Un Telling me what a good strong boy I am. 
I mean, all right. Beginning had me uh, a little worried there, but I gotta say, you uh, <laughs> really pulled it together. Mm. Cleaned up your act. Yeah. You really towed yourself off there. Almost <laughs> clean enough to eat. I had to. <laughs> That's a fucking sign in the Without restaurant. Drought over here. <laughs> the, the floors are clean enough to eat off of, but we don't recommend it. <laughs> like the signs are just like incredibly unfunny. Hey, I would give them a like dollar discount if they eat off the floor. That's less <laughs> job. That's less work that my workers have to do. Like a scam for a chain restaurant. You get money off if you like do some work at the restaurant, yeah. so they never actually it's hire the all these restaurants. The reason they have the quarter systems on cards is so that people <laughs> put their own cards back. Yeah, because other I always like somebody, some article I read somewhere or so. It was just a quote from a quote from a person. It was just stolen five hundred times. Where it's like, if you put the cart back, it's like the litmus. It's test. the ultimate. Yeah, it's the ultimate test, just because you're, nothing bad happens if you do do it, nothing good happens, or if you don't do it, and nothing yeah. good happens if you do. It's just like a test to see how you are. Yeah, I think it was Gandhi who initially said that. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Gandhi was the, uh, the founder of Aldi. <laughs> oh, so Buddha was Trader Joe's. Yep. And they were brothers. Two Makes sense brothers. that Gandhi would support smoking. Because he has a smoking hot bod? <laughs> well, when sure. You, when bring you it back spell it out. I want a sexy Gandhi restaurant. What would it serve? A piece and a piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you think a Gandhi restaurant would be the, uh, the least, uh, sexually attract- not sexually attract- No, I want specifically a sexy Gandhi restaurant. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would he come out and feed you? Uh, yeah, spiritually yeah. and With physically. His hands. So he gives then you a, he would... a talk at the same time as feeding you. Yeah. Tries to enlighten you while fattening you up. He would whisper about transubstantiation into my ear. While he shovels in the colored paste. <laughs> uh, in fact, he actually just whispers uh, insightful thoughts at you. Because it's a hunger strike restaurant. <laughs> I was going to go totally different. I was going to be like... It's one of those challenge restaurants where if you don't speak, you uh, get to like eat for free, oh, but yeah. they're just slowly whispering more and more complicated spiritual ideas into your ear while they spe spoon feed you spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of a... The ultimate test there. What? I was going to say the ultimate test is that they convince you to go on a hunger strike at the end, so by the time by the end you don't even want to eat. That's right, and it's a it's a pay what you want establishment, so you still gotta yep. pay for it all. They're gonna make you feel real fucking bad if you don't pay, though. You they don't have to. You should feel bad for your own, based on your own moral code. Yeah, that's what the employee told me. Dakota, you're missing <laughs> a line. What do you mean? If you don't fix that line by the end of this, I'm gonna be mad. Just tell me which one, because I'm doing a lot of cleanup. Oh. The, uh, the earring on the right earlobe, like his right, uh, should have a line from the tank top. Hmm? The... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I straight up would have missed that one, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, nice detail. Uh, attention, thank you. Eh, hey, no problem. Yeah, no, I think I would have just missed that one, not even from... Yeah, I, I figured it wasn't a stylistic thing. Because nope. they weren't plugs. Ooh, although maybe with this genre... Ah, no, these vocalists would have either. Could have both. 
Bro. I got my plug spears. <laughs> yep. Still, uh, still going through Breaking Bad, though I've slowed down. I'm in. Uh, oh, I didn't realize. Did you start it while I was? Uh... I think so. Yeah. Training for Crater Clash? I think, uh, I'm in the middle of Season 3. Oh yeah, you're moving along. Yeah. It's, uh, it's still good. Is Season 3 the... It just has that cold open with the, the bear in the pool? Yes. Oh, okay. Wait. No, that was Season 2. Oh shit, I didn't this, get as far as I thought. Season 3, you know why that all happened. Gotcha. Uh, and I mean... It's... I think I asked this question without... Yeah. Too much... Guff, but like, is Gus in the picture yet? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. It's funny, I recognize Gus because I had seen him in Far Cry. <laughs> yeah, he's was actually, he's an incredible actor. He really is. He's really good. Him and I was just what? What? I was just gonna say I was just watching a series with him in it earlier today. Oh, what series? Which one? Uh, I finished the Maze Runner series. Oh wow! I don't. What is that? Uh, just young adult novel shit. You're pretty oh. pretty typical uh, apocalyptic young adult thing. So much so that they came out, like, on the tales of Hunger Games. Mmm, yeah. Uh, how was that series? Because, like, because I avoided, like, the whole Hunger Games scene, I skipped that one as well. Um, it's got some issues, and I read some synopsis uh, of how the books go, and it feels like the movies were riddled with somebody meddling with the creative direction because they miss a lot of important things from the book and i'm not like just they didn't do what i wanted from the books because i haven't read them but there was a lot of like that's kind of a major thing to know why isn't it in the movies um but the movies are okay it's like a good watch while you work type movie gotcha Nothing, um Eh, it's okay. There, there's the characters aren't stupid, which I appreciate. Um, in fact, the characters are actually pretty smart, which I think saves a lot of what would otherwise be bad. Uh, but it's fine. It's just I feel like if you want to experience those, just read the books. But they're just okay. Um. Excuse me. I started another series uh, right after it while I work called uh, Divergent based on uh, Grace's recommendation. Much better. Hmm. Which is weird because... That's a movie of that, didn't they? Yes. Sorry, I've been... These are all movies I've been watching. Uh, okay. Um, but for some... Maze Runner got finished and Divergent didn't, which is shocking to me because so far Divergent's been much better. I think it was just the... Not every young adult novel can be a blockbuster hit, especially if you're going to saturate the market like that. And it did That's come later. The issue with blockbuster movies as an industry is that they're like, oh, this did well once. If we keep doing this, we can flood the market and shoot ourselves in the foot and Make only the creative money. suffer because of it. Yeah, I feel like it very well was a victim of that. I turn my music down just we are at 24 and a half minutes left okay when shuffle gives you two songs by the same band back to back um that's just like are, are you trying yeah i think uh 
Spotify has come out with a smart shuffle too, and I'm like, why wasn't shuffle always just better? Their their shuffles. A lot of their mechanics are just like barely barely functional. Yep. Because I've had autoplay on the entire time I've had Spotify, and it wasn't until recently that it started applying to podcasts. <laughs> And wow. so it'll go from I'll listen to the new episode of a podcast and then it'll go into another podcast. Yeah. And fuck? I may not necessarily be entirely caught up on that one. Oh. And it'll just start playing the new episode and then it only makes it more difficult to get the episode where I was where I previously left off on. Yep. I've had that happen. It it really should know like podcasts are played differently than music albums or whatever yeah i even reached out to support about it because i don't know I'm, yeah if they fix I'm it i'm that cool. dick i don't know you'd be right. surprised how little support tickets get put in for things that really need it yeah because that really is like a legitimate functionality issue i've had a lot of uh not a lot but i had a really long conversation for what game was it it was some MMO where League I put in a... Yes. A wild star. Oh, wow. Uh, I put, put in a support ticket for a bug quest a lot of people were having an issue with. And I told the guy, I was like, yeah, everyone I'm playing with has this, a problem with this quest. And he's like, what the fuck do you mean? We've got, like, three support tickets for it. And oh, I was just wow. like... I was like, alright, apparently just nobody reports. And this also was before, like... Uh, Reddit and or not Reddit, but like online forums were huge because Wildstar was like 2012 ish, right? So it, it wasn't as widely spread. So yeah. it might be a non issue now. Well, social media's really, really pushed that. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's. It's good and bad because Most support has to. Oh, absolutely. Um, support has to listen to you. Like they can't avoid things like that. Right. Um, but it's just become like a weird with the deluge of of different avenues to talk to people through. Um, it makes them all ultimately less effective. Like. Movie passes back. Uh, when they first started, the only way to get their support to do anything was to DM them on Twitter. Oh, that's so awful. And so, like, I, I paid for three months of Movie Pass, and I only got to use it once because they never sent me my card. W were you able and to get anything back? Nope. Nice. Because they went under. Oh. Well. Can't be too mad, but yeah, also that sucks. They're back now, and they said they put me on the list to... Uh, join the new service, and then... By the time I got that email, they're like, Oh, it's full. You missed your chance. Fuckers. But I ain't even got time to go to movies anyway, so... No real loss at this point, but back when I was a movie-going kid. Yeah. Not even a kid, I was a, You're fucking was a young adult. adult. Yeah. My Maybe home. even a B or C adult at that point. Whoa. I remember when I was a adult. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a squid now. A adult is just when you take your, when you take a grown person and cover them in tiny rhinestones. <laughs> what are we at time wise? Nineteen nineteen. So, I'm a little there. under 20. Yeah, you got time. Oh, yeah. 
think I'm ready to move on to the next phase. What's the next phase? Uh, Grey Tones. Oh. This uh, little guy does not get color. I never listened to the Grey Tones. I prefer... Sorry, I, you sidetracked me because I listened to a band called Grayscale Season, and it, I was struggling <laughs> to remember the name. My, all fucking cylinders were firing for that one. I prefer the Grey Tones sounds like... evolved form. The Mighty Mighty Grey Tones. <laughs> Honestly, that was a band breakup that that hit me more than I expected it to. Yeah, I can I can see that. Uh, my my chemical romance hurt me. Yeah, but turns out if you just wait long enough, you'll be able to see him again. Yeah, still waiting on that album. Um, uh, Foxy was another band like that. Yep. But I got to see them this past August, and it was... It was like going to church. That sounds pretty great, honestly. Sounds like something yeah. Foxy would say, too. Yeah. Sounds like something exactly they would say. It was the Church of Rock and Roll. Um, I think I talked about it on the show already, but... Eric Nally bummed a bunch of cigarettes from the crowd, and then smoked all of them, and ate them on stage. Oh, man. He's lucky those were nicotine. <laughs> yeah. Especially here at Red Flag. Like, it could have broke bad. But it was wild, and I got to play uh, Sky's Keyboard a little bit. Ooh, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. Because he just, he propped it up while Eric was, like, standing on his back and let the crowd play his keyboard. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, those guys, they haven't lost a step, and it was, it was amazing. Uh, MCR is another band I would love to see, because it's another one I never thought I would get the chance to see. So I got into them, like... I missed that phase entirely. Like, I was way late to my emo phase. Oh. Like, I... I still had... Vibrancy and a will to live in high school, I guess. Ah, uh, what a fool. Man. We were on yeah. those paths. I... I mean, I'm not anymore, but... He, he wised up. But yeah, like, so seeing them get back together and seeing that they're still just putting on these incredible shows is mm -hmm. really cool. Um, I just, I hope they keep doing it because they don't have any tour dates announced currently. Oh, yeah, that's not a good look, but we'll see. I mean, honestly, as long as they're happy and healthy, I... Yeah. I'm... I'll say I'm happy, but I'm also selfish and want to see them. I wanted to see, uh, I'm trying to think of bands I haven't seen that I want to see. I wanted to see Early Panic at the disco. Back when it was just kind of like a mild, mild anxiety at the disco. Yeah. But that would have been, like, 2007 or something, like, in their first album. Yeah. Like, again, because I was in that scene, like, I didn't realize just how much they popped off. Oh, yeah. They were very, very popular back in the day. Um, I never got to see Fallout Boy. That would have been fun. Mm hmm Yeah. With you on that one, like early, say early panic, early fallout boy. Yeah. Um, yeah, you. Could I'll never get to. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, you could still go, go see them, but they're very different. Go ahead. Now. Yeah, fair. 
Although I did shockingly, Brendan Yuri like is a fan of metal music and like yeah. makes it. I did not expect that one. Um, or Brendan, whatever the fuck his name is. Who oh, cares? I don't know. Um, Brendan Lee Murrigan. <laughs> yeah, sure. Smalls. Um, I'll never get to see a lot of bands I wanted to. Like every time I die. Yeah. Their lead singer apparently went a little off the rails. Uh. And the band just kind of said, yeah, he's not with us anymore. We're probably done. That's a yikes. Oh, I hope he gets help. Yeah, like, I, I, who the, I'd never looked into it past that announcement, but the announcement made it seem pretty rough. Oh, I'd love to see, uh, speaking of people that are in questionable shape right now, uh, uh, Mindless Self-Indulgence would be a good band to see. Yeah. I mean, they just kind of have quiet quit. Yeah, kind of. Super vernacular. Kind of years ago, really. Yeah, they just, like, there was no official announcement or anything. They just stopped doing it, like, uh... Jimmy Urin's still totally in the industry, and he did a lot of solo stuff. Uh, and just did production, mostly. And I... I mean, I can't really speak for them, obviously, but... Some of their stuff wasn't necessarily sustainable, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I still think there's a there's an audience for that style of music. Yeah, maybe not the one they want though. Yeah, is the unfortunate thing. But no, they they were really cool and a lot of fun. Uh, Jimmy Aaron actually did a song with Gerard Way. Really, when they were both doing solo stuff. It's called, like, a... Like a Sailor or something? I'm gonna have to look this up. And a lot of the solo stuff is just under James Erringer. Oh, yeah, I have heard that. I don't know how to say his last name. I think Uringer, like Urin. Yeah. Which isn't where he gets the... Well, I don't think it's where he gets the name... I know where he's gotten in trouble for the name. Uh, I was told he took on the the stage name after drinking piss at Gathering the, of the Juggalos. Oh, okay. See, I thought those were two separate things, where he had the name already and then also drank piss. Oh, uh, okay. And I mean, this is someone getting murdered in the song Roller Coaster kind of rumor. <laughs> yeah. So that's about the level I I had of that. I also know that he's uh, he's not allowed in some countries because of promoting rioting. Oh shit! Well, I mean, like like our country. Cause... No, he's allowed in ours. Good I, on him. It's promoting rioting, like during a song, like getting him too riled up, sort of promoting rioting. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's not real rioting. Really. Being a ruckus. Yeah, being too being too cool. Yeah. For school? For uh whatever music center he was at. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a school. Jello Biafra is still doing stuff. I don't know who I've never heard of that. Um he was the lead singer of the Dead Kennedys. Oh, okay. And I I think the influence with Jimmy Ear in it kind of shows. Yeah. Got about nine and a half minutes. I was lucky enough to actually get to see... Uh, MSI on a whim and it was a lot of fun. 
I think Jimmy did too. Uh, Jimmy actually took me. Yeah, okay. I am remembering that. Then. And then you guys, or was it you and Jimmy or you and Thor that went to see Gogo Bordello? Uh, Thor and I. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I've seen... Like... I've seen Gogo a couple of times. One time I went by myself. And... On acid. And... <laughs> it was still a delightful time. Did you, uh... Did you get to suck on his shirt a little? <laughs> suck on his shirt? Yeah, like, get the sweat out of it. Aaron, I'm... <laughs> yeah? yeah just take a little, a little slurp of that Eugene juice. <laughs> Is that not what you're supposed to do at shows, Dakota? <laughs> Sorry, I completely got mind flooded by Eugene juice and just <laughs> could not continue. Uh... Well, ironically, I am struggling to think after Eugene <laughs> Juice, holy shit. <laughs> but, both times I got to see them, it was really cool, because, like, I mean, some bands know they're in St. Louis, and maybe don't bring their A-game, because it takes a lot of energy, but yeah. Gogol, like, does not fuck around if they're putting on a show. They... They're consistently a really good time. Hell yeah. I kind of imagine they're like fucking drained after a show, but maybe not. No, I bet. Especially because they're... I mean, I hate to say it, they're getting up there. Yeah. <laughs> they're oh, still fun. going wild and doing tours and stuff, but... I guess if that's what you trained your body to do... <laughs> I don't... I mean, I don't know if it's so much as training as it is enduring. <laughs> With a lot of them. Yeah, endurance training. Oh, for fuck, fine. Yeah, one it, one day they drink four beers, and the next day they drink six beers, and the next day they drink eight beers. I heard he's yeah. conceited. The liver is the, <laughs> the most, most enduring <laughs> organ in the body. <laughs> you know... For some people, that might just be it. Well, I mean, for the people that it gives out, I guess it tried. That's my people. secret, Captain. I'm always drinking. <laughs> yeah, I th oh, by the way, I'm done, Jared. I'm sure you can figure that out, though. Yeah, you stop doing stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy with where it's at. How much time I got left? Oh, well... Six, six minutes. <laughs> you did say you were done. Alright, yeah. Um, I'm kind of shocked. I thought this was going to be one of the... I know you hear this all the time from me, but I thought this was going to be a real fucking shitter for me. <laughs> and then you just bust a good one out. Yeah. This is a good episode for me. Good. We're happy to have you back. Yeah. Uh, you know, Creator Clash took a lot of time, but uh, I eventually I figured out how to get there. It's just a shame it was the, you know, too late to actually attend. But you know the way now. So that's, I do. So that's why they got rid of Froggy Fresh, because you couldn't make it. Uh, he was on my <laughs> connecting flight. He asked me how to get there, and... Um, you said, you go left, idiot. And then you went yeah. left, too. Well, for some reason, he started talking shit about my mom, and then, I don't know. He cried to the in to the owner. <laughs> and then Which started berating the owner's mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How would your one mom of our, feel? Uh, one of our viewers uh, at the first creator clash uh, went and had a flight down there, but their connecting flight got canceled or something. And oh, yeah. so they just happened to meet a bunch of people who were also going to the Clash and rode with them in a in a car and said it was one of the most awkward experiences of their life. 
Did they not go uh, this year? No. Aw. Yeah, I would not do well in that situation. I'd be very quiet and not, not say anything, probably. Axum, did I get anything wrong? Do you want to tell the people your story? Please do. Though I haven't seen Axum tonight. I don't. Yeah, I don't think Axum's here tonight. Maybe, maybe he's being a little, little lurky boy, which is a okay. Not yeah, a lot. We appreciate lurkers here. We appreciate lurkers. We appreciate vagabonds. Um, actually, just like little goofy people. Um, here for it. We support them. Lurkers uh, are actually my favorite people on Twitch. Really? Yep. I think they are the backbone of most channels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just unbridled support. I'll bridle your support in whatever uh -huh. capacity. Whew. Sorry. Got a little... Don't hot. tempt me. Got a little hot and bothered there. It's because you've Ain't been bothering drawing. me. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, Aaron? Because you've been drawing that muscle guy. Listen, I should probably queue up the song. Actually, could you queue up the song, Aaron? I don't think we can for the for DMCA. Oh, right, 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 right. I'll have to... It'll be a little treat for Travis after the fact. Sorry, everybody. Um, if you want to understand the joke... I can link joke, it. We can have a... We can yeah. have a listen along. Well, yeah. I, I don't think we can for DMCA. No, we can all queue it up at the same time. Oh, okay, and as long well yeah. as we don't play it on stream itself... Sure. Let's get that song again. Uh, Counting Worms. The funny thing is, when I googled which song it was, they have two with that song. Like, it really is a fucking cliche. Wow. It happens a lot. It became a thing. And it's not only that sound, there's like a bleh sound that happens too. That kind of fits in with this. But, uh, the other one was just too good. Who's fucking disc? Shut up, Discord. I don't want to. I'm doing ten paces shit. It was me. I feel that. Was it this video? Uh, should be. Let me make sure. Oh god, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is the album called Laugh Tracks? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's got a song and uh, yeah. that's titled that. Yeah, 27 sec. Or er, hold on. Let me find it. Oh, yeah, you were going to do the belt buckle. 26 is uh, a good lead in. It's already done. Put a okay. You can put a 20 26 on done. the hat. I could, but it's we're okay. good. Yeah, we're done. We're good. All right. Uh, I had Dakota go first last time, so Travis, you wanna you wanna yeah. explain? Um, so I I had to resist the ever present urge to do ska, right? Uh, so I went with hyperpop. I definitely got and that. So this little lad is an artillery unit, and he's got his launch pad. Jesus Christ. That's so great. And right. he's he's skanking because <laughs> Hyper Ska <laughs> is a new thing uh, that Gex is taking part of. Enough for me to go what? Part in? Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're just yeah, dying. Hyper Ska is a new subgenre and also they just draw from whatever Oh, why'd you... I don't know, whatever egregious music structures they can for Hyperpop. Yeah. See, so yeah, this is my little, uh, little launch pattern. Launch pattern Aaron... the quack. What? <laughs> you're... Okay, I thought you were hiding mine on purpose first. No, that was you. 
Okay, that's annoying. Whenever I click off onto my other screen, it does that. When it loses focus in the window, there might be a way to fix that. I'm just gonna capture my whole screen next week, cause yeah. fuck that. It's I don't want the viewers to miss it out if I tab for reference. I thought you did that cause you were just like, well, when he was explaining it, I thought you were just like, I'm done. No, I could, but no, it wasn't a bit. I just I didn't know it did that. Alright. Um, yeah, so as a shock to no one, mine's part like a metal subgenre, but there's like modern metal or metalcore, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, there's a couple trends that have popped up in these vocals that are just fucking dumb. Travis, I want you to do me a favor so you can understand what's okay. happening. Go to the song that, uh, Aaron, can you link that to him? Did you already? I did not. But okay. I can't. Also, I count worms? Counting Worms by Knocked Loose. I sent it to you now. And for anyone who wants to follow along, that's Counting Worms by Knocked Loose. And it's, uh, oh, we'll start at. So to follow along? Yeah, start at 27 seconds. Or listen up to that, your choice. Uh, but yeah, so they do some dumb shit in their vocals, and the idea for this guy was like, he's the big tanky meatball character in the game who just pushes people out of the way like it's a mosh pit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to make him as stereotypical modern metal uh, frontman as possible. Hell yeah. Alright, whenever you're ready. My, uh, my brother's actually in a, a collective down in, down near Dallas. I think they're called Pitbulls, where they go around, like, ensuring moshing etiquette at shows. And so that's what it made me think of. <laughs> they would definitely do that, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Like, just like, a... hey little guy, give him space, give him space. But yeah, it's yeah. also just, it fits with the, the harsh vocals and the, they fucking, this trend of going bleh started at one point too. <laughs> and I feel like it also fits this, but the fucking arf arfs always arf, kill arf. me. Wait, the arf arf is a trend? Yeah, apparently. Oh, just Hell play yeah. the song. Oh, I did. I didn't know that was like a trend outside of this song. Though. Oh, yeah, I've heard it from at least a dozen different bands. See, it used to be pig noises, but now it's dog noises. Yeah, just unashamedly arf arf. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> it's your Dr. Aculas. Like the shocker on shock streets. Fucking, uh, fucking dealer know. did it too. Dude, I think you're actually, you could be right with Dr. Acula. No, that's a know. song that I knew when I was younger. Oh, Dr. Acula's a band in the genre, too. Yeah, the song was Shocker on Shock Street. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, no, a <laughs> lot of bands do this dumb shit. Yeah, it's... It's it's yeah. so fucking funny to me, I love it. It was all yeah, written by uh, the Baja Men in the late 90s. Yeah. Yeah, you let them out and you just can't put them back in, man. Okay, well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go back to this one because I like it. I like all of yours tonight. They were really good. Yeah, I had a I had a good comeback. Uh, don't worry, I'll do worse next week. We'll see. Boy. Let's see. Go back to your go back to your dog boy. Woof 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 woof. I don't know why. The really tiny tank top got me. <laughs> yeah. Too. It looks like a fucking smock. I have seen <laughs> this exact physique and, like, wardrobe so many times at shows. <laughs> <laughs> I think one complements the other. <laughs> you want to be wider than the shirt you're wearing. <laughs> and they made sure it was known that they have achieved this. Well, congratulations, Dakota. Ah, uh, you have thirty-one fifty. What does Travis have? Two nine 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 plus one. Travis has two nine 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 plus one. Oh, from feasible. Limit broken yet? 
Yeah, you, oh. you still gotta get that special item. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Your your Omega weapon and uh, Diamond Tiara. I'm gonna get that Quartet of Nines. I forget what game it was. It was some game that the, the limit normally was 9999, and you could limit break it to like a hundred times that. And it's like, what the fuck is the point? <laughs> yeah. So you can have that moment. Yeah. Say, I want to leave baby mode, please, and then just nuke the planet. Yep. Alright, well. Uh, do we want to find somebody? Yeah, let's find someone to raid. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, we do this every Monday, 8 p.m. Central Time. And then Thursdays are a little bit more laid back streams, but still similar content. Ooh. What? So, I don't know if you have anyone, Travis, but I've got Scotch playing Dark and Darker. Let's do it. Yeah, throw it out. So we will catch you guys, uh, you know, next next week if we don't see you in a couple days. Also, uh, rating uh, Scotch feels appropriate with your uh, Ska thing. Because uh, <laughs> his name is Ska DJ, which was not intentional. Yeah. It's super funny. Well, as always, happy trails, y'all.